Tomorrow is so September 1st. Do, I was going to say, what do we call the weather tonight? Well, we're going to call it a little wet. Tomorrow we're going to see a little bit of wet conditions as well. It will be humid for your Sunday. 77 degrees on Monday. This is what I was going to say. Tomorrow, September 1st, and then we're going to watch those temperatures really falling, and it's going to feel like fall. We're still seasonable for this time of year. Upper 70s is the normal high temperature for this time of year, but we're going to see those dew points go from 68 degrees on Sunday to the low 40s on Monday, which you can't see that there right at the moment, but it'll be back at 50 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday. When a dew point makes it to about 60 degrees, that's when it starts feeling a little muggy out there right now. Definitely a bit on the muggy side as we're going to have clouds sticking around and also as we do have a few pockets of heavier rain heading towards the North Shore. North of Boston, you could get a bit wet. If you're out in downtown Boston, you may see some light rain coming overhead within the next hour or so, but it should just be a quick moving round of light rain for these overnight hours. Hours, and then another round is coming in by tomorrow morning. So if you have to get out and walk the dog 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you're likely going to be seeing some of that rain, upper 60s, uh, sticking around through the overnight hours, 70 degrees around 7 o'clock in the morning. And then as we head through our day, we still will have another round of rain possible sometime in the afternoon. But coverage is going to decrease just a bit. So those morning hours definitely do have the potential to be a bit on the wet side. So going through early morning, still could see a round of rain or two. Clouds are staying thick. Potentially parts of southern New Hampshire could start to see a little bit of sunshine for parts of the day tomorrow, but it's going to be the afternoon when we see an isolated thunderstorm or two popping up, mainly south of Boston along the south shore and the Cape, uh, but that could come as far north as areas in southern New Hampshire for your Sunday afternoon. By the time we get into Monday, though, we are going to be drying things out. Now, some of these storms, if you do start to see one developing overhead tomorrow, not many of us are going to get wet from a thunderstorm in the afternoon, but if you do start to see them developing, they do have the potential to get on the stronger side. So while coverage isn't going to be impressive, some of them definitely could be stronger. Morning rain temperatures make their way upper 70s and low 80s for your Sunday, and then we're going to be in those middle 70s by the time we head around 8 o'clock. So high temperatures tomorrow, 77 right along the coast, the South Shore, Plymouth looking at 77 degrees, and then those low 80s for areas like Fitchburg seeing 82 degrees. Once we head into Monday, we're basically 70s across the board. Low temperatures are going to start to fall as well, and this is going to be the most shocking of to the system. Tuesday, 51 degrees. That means areas in the suburbs likely will be in the middle and upper 40s at times for parts of next week. Staying cool into Wednesday, but we start to get closer to that normal by Thursday, 56 degrees uh, for your low temperature on Thursday. So 10-day forecast showing lots of 70s. It's definitely feeling like fall, and also lots of sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday by Friday, middle 70s. Temperature at 75 degrees. A few more clouds build in. Now, next weekend, we do have weekend rain coming our way. That's going to be when our next rain chances come in. But next week is looking very dry. Looks good. Thank you, Sid.